Yo, 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 what is up, my fellow cardists, carditions, magicians, card enthusiasts, card collectors, and anybody who has anything to do with playing cards? I'm your boy, Eddie Cruz. This is the Riffle Status, and today I bring to you the Sears playing cards. Now, cue that B roll. What is up everybody? If you're new to the channel, I hope you like that intro. If you do, make sure you drop some comments down below. Smash that like button, hit the subscribe button down below and ring a ling a ling that bell if you wanna be notified on future content. I've always got Kickstarter decks that are coming to you. I've got new releases. I've got blasts from the past. I've got a bunch of stuff. I've got decks you probably didn't even know existed. So if you're into that kind of content, Make sure you do those things. It really does help the channel out. Thank you very much. If you're already a subscriber, then you know what time it is. Thank you again for joining me. I'm glad to have you back. Today, I bring to you the Sears playing cards. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. Learn about the giveaway. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can win a white crown deck by Alex Pandrea and the blue crown. It is the last crown deck that they are going to be producing with the design that they have now on the cards. They're going to be doing some rebranding, so it's going to be completely different. This is definitely a collector's item and it is a limited run. Without further ado and without wasting any more of your time, because I know your time is precious, let's get into these bad boys. Here is the tuck case. It is very minimalistic. You have this design here and on the side and on the back. It is basically like the um, like the Memento Moris or the Verts playing cards or a couple others where if you buy three decks and you put one here, one here, and one in the middle, you will make the whole entire design that wraps around the tuck case. Other than that, you have nothing on the side, nothing on the top, and on the bottom, you've got your standard produced by United States Playing Cards Company, all that jazz. All right, one thing to know. In my opinion, there is four things that a deck of cards, every deck of cards should come with. Not every deck of cards comes with them, but it's my personal opinion and I love it when it does. And this deck checks off every box. One, two, three, four, bam, check all of them. You have two identical jokers which is a must you've got a blank face card great for those ambitious card routines and last but definitely not least you have a double backer look a double backer there are so many effects that you can do for all the beginners out there a double backer can absolutely shatter people's minds. It will make people's minds leave them in awe. It will literally blow their mind wide open because of the things you can do with the double backer. So 
I, a double backer really helped me out when I was first starting in Magic. You know, I hadn't mastered all the slights yet. I still haven't mastered all the slights, but th there was a lot of slights that I didn't know. I was just getting into it, and but I wanted to perform. Like everybody, you don't want to just sit there and practice 24-7 all the time, but then you can't show anybody. Somebody asks you to do something, and you just, you don't want to do it yet because you don't want to look like an amateur. You don't want to look bad. You don't want to mess up in front of people. So the double backer was definitely to me something that was amazing because a standard double lift and a double backer and you can perform some mind-blowing effects so that is awesome that this deck came with a double backer here is the back design of the cards you've got these uh, kind of eyeball type things uh, with a couple different shades of purple and a couple different shades of blue going on uh, this deck produces four fans now like I said because everything in this deck is is custom, each ace has its own custom pip on it. This is the ace of spades. Like I said, you've got all the pips and indices are completely standard in the corners. This is your ace of spades pip right here, nice and big in the middle. It's got a little bit of roundedness on the bottom compared to your standard ace of spades pip that usually just goes straight across. Um, this is the other two designs you will get with the fan. As you saw in the intro, you have this little rainbow down here and this little rainbow right here. So depending on where you grab your fan, whether you grab it closer to the inside to get that large fan with a small inner circle, or you grab on the outside to get that big inner circle of your fan, you will get different types of fans. So that is very nice. Now you have your ace of hearts, which again, not standard, you know, standard in the corners, but not in the middle. You have this elongated heart. Uh, that is not really proportionate as far as the hump sizes for how long it is but again with the back design right there in the middle now you've got your ace of clubs which is uh you know far from standard again you've got this little uh dagger almost sticking out from the middle and then you have your ace of diamonds which i really really like this diamond it's more of a star this is going to be your structure of your pips that are in the middle of the cards you'll notice that they're squeezed more towards the inside instead of being like your standard USPCC cards where they're kind of more spread out they are a little smaller and more condensed to the middle of the card Here's your eight of spades to demonstrate uh, again how everything is condensed towards the middle and this is what the spade pips look like. Eight of hearts again, you have this elongated heart, uh, not quite standard, everything is grouped again to the center of the card. And then you have your eight of diamonds, which again, you have your not standard pips, everything condensed towards the middle. If you haven't noticed already, uh, this deck is awesome and custom in the way that not all the colors are the same it's not like two reds and then two blacks either and, and the pips on these are purple and light blue but then again you'll notice that you have a light shade of blue a darker shade of blue then you have a light shade of purple with a dark shade of purple so everything is custom even all the colors on this deck now your court cards uh i do magic not just cardistry so for me the court cards are a little on edge. They say in the description of these cards that they were the perfect balance between cardistry and magic, but some people might not recognize the court cards. They are definitely not standard, but they are, they tried to make them standard-ish, but the faces, hey, let me just show you what I mean. Here you have your jack of hearts and your jack of clubs. Now you'll notice the jack of hearts is sort of standard, definitely not in colorway, and but the facial features are uh, they follow the same theme on this deck they're more lines for facial features uh the jack of clubs you can tell there has no face it's just a couple lines then you have your jack of diamonds and your jack of spades which are pretty similar but opposite uh, but you do have some differences as far as in the eyes the mustache uh, the eyebrows you know like i said you could probably get away with these for magic but then again you might not this is your queen of spades and queen of diamonds again both of those are almost the same just uh reflected image mirrored images with uh just lines on the face kind of crazy looking next you have your queen of hearts and queen of clubs which the queen of hearts is almost zombified kind of has a, a zombie look to it and the queen of clubs just looks like a complete badass it's, so you can see it's almost got like this ninja mask on with these really furious looking eyes. 
And here you have your King of Diamonds and King of Spades, which again, very, very similar. Uh, some slight differences in the mustache, in the eyes, in the eyebrows, and the nose. And then you have your Suicide King, which is a little different. Uh, because if you notice, the sword is actually going all the way through the head. Most typical kings, that sword just disappears behind the head and doesn't protrude back out like this does. It actually goes all the way through, which is kind of crazy, but then again, no face, just some lines. And then you have the uh, king of clubs, which seems to have no neck. So that is it for the Sears playing cards. I'll let you take a look at the cards here. You will notice all the different coloration in the blues and the different colorations in the purples. As far as how they handle, this deck handles amazing as you saw in the intro. They are, it seems a, a single crush stock, not extremely crushed like the Memento Moris, um, but not, uh, definitely not standard like a normal deck of bikes. They are in between. To me, this is all, almost perfect. These cards are, amazing in fans they look great in flourishes and like i said you can probably get away with them in magic um, but you might want to bring a backup deck just in case this was a kickstarter campaign i don't know how it didn't get funded the back design is phenomenal the the rainbows that you see in the corners of the cards that produce those awesome fans you know i, I really just i don't understand how this deck didn't get funded uh, I see some decks on Kickstarter all the time that I'm like, man, it's hideous, but it, it gets funded in 23 minutes. Uh, and then I see some decks that I think are beautiful and they just, they don't make it. So maybe it just depends on the amount of exposure they had, how they did their marketing, I don't know. But I am glad to see that they were able to get funded somehow in order to print this deck of cards. So that is it for the Sears playing cards. Now let's get into the moment you've all been waiting for, the giveaway, the white crown deck, snow crown deck by Alex Pandre and the blue crown. We've got one week left, ladies and gentlemen, to enter the giveaway. You need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video because I will be revealing the winner in that video. Oh, and one more thing before I go. Every video, I want you guys to choose the next deck that gets reviewed. All right, it's not gonna be on me, it's gonna be on you. Majority vote gets it. Without further ado, without wasting any more of your time, appreciate having you here. My name's Eddie Cruz, this is The Ripple Status, deuces.